Putin was pushed to the extreme by nuclear weapons or by admitting defeat. A sick Putin is struggling with his war strategy, torn between using nuclear weapons or admitting defeat and returning occupied Ukrainian territory. The death toll in Russia's armed forces, plus separatist fighters and pro-Putin private troops, has reached nearly 65,000, the SVR general told the Telegraph Channel, with opposition sources providing inside information promised by the Kremlin. Putin's top entourage is desperate that he privately offered to well-meaning senior aides that extreme option of ceding the newly occupied territory to Ukraine. At the same time, Ukraine's defense minister warned that the Ukrainian military's counterattack is likely to be effective. Such an outcome would threaten his presidency and be seen as a humiliating, overwhelming failure. But Putin's top officials are said to be bracing for a dramatic deterioration in his health. It is quite possible that we can say that the president will soon be unable to hold meetings and attend major events in person, said the broadcaster, which has long claimed he has cancer and other serious illnesses. It said Putin's absence was due to the return of the COVID pandemic. Doubles have also been used a lot recently, it said, without specifying when and where. However, the broadcaster also discussed an extreme route, which envisages winning the lands of the People's Republic of Luhansk and Donetsk, as well as Kherson, Zaporozhye, in a nearly six-month war and the land of Kharkov. Discussing extreme options in front of and at the president's initiative has left many on his war team frustrated. Without exception, all who spoke to Putin recognized that the president simply had no good opportunity to address pressing and unresolved issues on the front lines. Such a move would be the end of his reign and the regime he led, start. The report also argued that military leaders blamed Putin for tactics that led to such heavy casualties.